Ricky with Trailblazer Wellness. I'm a personal trainer and health coach, and I love to travel and play outside. So today I'm gonna to show you some moves that you can do to build your strength for going outside and playing using a backpack. And so this will help you get stronger, build your strength and your stamina for doing hikes in the mountains or on whatever trails are nearby you, um, whatever activities you like to do. So, just a few exercises. I'm going to do 10 each. You can load up your backpack as much as you'd like. I've got about 15 pounds in here. Um, I could certainly add some more, add more water, add a few more items, or I could take a few things out um, if I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. So, let's start with some upper body moves. I'm going to start with upward rows. You can do this by holding the loop on the back top of your backpack or the shoulder straps and get some upper back and upper body work done here. So I'm gonna do 10 upward rows and one pulling straight up, down, two, and three, nice and slow and controlled, four, five, and six, seven, keep your knees soft, eight, tailbone down, nine, and 10. All right, next up is squat thrust. I'm gonna open up my legs a little bit more, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart so the back can, pack can swing between my legs. And I'm going to squat down and then bring my hips forward while I um, move the backpack up and I'm going to get it to about shoulder height and then swing back down. So I'll turn a little bit more to the side here so you can see I'm sitting back in my heels and keeping my back straight and I'm going to go up and two and three, four, five, Six, thrusting the hips forward, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So those are kind of fun to do. They strengthen the glutes and the hamstrings and all that good stuff. So next I'm going to do a shoulder press and I'm going to take my pack by the ends. I'm going to lift it over my head, strengthen my shoulders, which are really important for holding up packs and all that good stuff. So, one, and two, and three, four, slow and controlled, five, six, tailbone down, abs in, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, great move for getting your shoulders all ready to carry that pack. Next one I'm going to do is called deadlifts. These are good for your lower back and your uh, hamstrings. I'm going to hold my pack by the loop and by the hip uh, hip belt, have my feet about shoulder or hips with a distance apart. Gonna keep my knees a little bit soft, but um, still pretty straight and keep my back straight and lower at my hips, bend at the hips. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, that was a good one. Now I'm going to get down on the ground and do shoulder or um, chest press. So get down with my pack, lay back my pack over my head 
they're actually over my chest. So I'm going to lift it straight up from my chest. And one, oops, two, lower back on the ground, three, four, five, six, seven, straight up, eight, nine, and ten. All right, you got the upper body all going there. Next, I'm going to do lower body. So I'm going to put this on, do some moves with the pack on, kind of mimic what we do out on the trail so we can be ready for it. It's all strapped on here. I'm going to do a lunge with a couple little extra moves in it. I'm going to include a twist and a knee up. So this will help with balance, it'll help with your core, um, and again, those kind of twisting, uneven moves that you end up doing outside, um, this will help prepare you for that. So I'm gonna do a lunge, the twist towards the leg in front, come back, and a knee up, okay? And so the other side, Lunge, nice wide lunge, legs 45 degrees, chest up, shoulders back, I'm gonna twist, come back, and knee up. Do 10 per side for those. So one, twist, forward, knee up, then around, two, oops, wrong leg, two, twist, turn, knee up, be 20 total, three, twist, turn, knee up, and four, twist, back, knee up, five, twist, back, knee up, six, twist, back, woo, knee up, I was a little sloppy. Let's get that straight. Seven, twist, back, knee up. It's more like it. Eight, twist, back, knee up. And nine, twist, back, knee up. Ten, twist, back, knee up. If you got a a lot of space and you can do this walking across the room that's great 11 twist back knee up and 12 twist back knee up 13 twist back knee up 14 twist back knee up and 15, twist, back, knee up. 16, woo, get stable on that lunge. Twist, back, knee up. 17, twist, back, knee up. 18, twist, back, knee up. Couple more, 19, twist, back, knee up, and, oops, wrong leg, 20, twist, back, knee up. Excellent. Next I'm gonna do a squat with a hold. This comes in handy for us ladies, especially, uh, when we need to uh, do our business, and there's not a restroom facility available. So getting those quads nice and strong, being able to hold that kind of seated motion. We're gonna sit back on our heels, keep the chest up, keep your knees back from your toes as much as you can. And we're gonna hold for three counts at the bottom. So my ties here. So we're gonna go down 
one, two, three, and up. Two, one, two, three, and up. Three, one, two, three, and up. Four, one, two, three, and up. Five, one, two, three, up. Six, one, two, three, and up. Seven, one, two, three, and up. Eight, one, two, three, and up. Nine, one, two, three, and up. And the last one, one, two, three, and up. Excellent. So one last move, do some calf raises so that we can get our calves nice and strong for those uphills especially. They definitely come in handy. I'm gonna do it with one toe on the ground. You can do this with both feet on the ground to start. And as you get your balance and your strength up, you can move up to one foot at a time, one leg at a time. So that uh, with some weight on your back, it really um, provides a nice, uh, a nice challenge for you. So I'm gonna go up, two, three, down, two, two, three, down, three, two, three, down, four, two, three, down, try it with one foot, five, one, two, three, lower, six, two, three, lower, back, seven, two, three, lower, eight, two, three, lower, nine, two, three, down, whoops, cheated a little on that one, oh well, 10, two, three, and down. Switch to the other foot, or if you're doing them with both feet, it's good to do 20 all together. So, up, two, three, lower, definitely a little tougher on this one, two, two, three, lower, three, two, three, lower, four, two, three, lower, five, two, three, lower, six, two, three, lower, seven, two, three, lower, eight, two, three, lower, two more, nine, two, three, lower, last one, 10, two, three, and lower. All right, so that gives you a few ideas of some things you can do with your pack. You could do them inside or outside. I decided to do outside just for a little extra inspiration. And um, you can, like I said before, you can add more weight to your pack, take some out, see how you feel, do this exercise routine maybe two times in a row if you're feeling up for it. Do it two or three times a week and you'll uh, continue to build your strength so that you can have fun outside. Take care. Bye.